a buzzing start to a new school year. <laughs> Welcome back. So happy to see you guys. Bugby bees saying goodbye to their parents before grabbing the hands of their teachers. I think just the fact that we're actually having school, we're starting off the school year with some semblance of normalcy is, is exciting. That same excitement can be seen in students with smiles beaming beneath their masks. To see a new teacher and learn more things. His eyes are glued to me. I love it. Chloe all the way in the back. Though there are rules in place with the kids sitting three feet apart, teachers like Ms. Begor are just happy to be back in a full classroom. The thing I'm most excited about actually is the kids. I love forming those relationships with them and getting to know them. My favorite animal is a penguin because I went to South Africa and we saw lots of penguins. Everybody is back in the classroom this year after 20% of the district was remote learning last year and the main focus right away is building relationships and getting to know one another. This week students can expect to come into the classroom, talk about their summers, their days, who they are as people, and learn about their teachers and their classmates too. And they'll be working together more than last year. The school is encouraging group work of three or more kids for 15 minutes at a time. It's the number one thing this family is looking forward to. What I noticed is the lack of socialization really uh, was to their detriment, more so than the education. But students are already picking up on what it means to be together as Bugby Bees. I learned that you should always be kind to everybody. A culture they'll continue to craft. Go Bugby! In West Hartford, Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News.